bookworms, my name is Lindsay, I am the book blogger, and it's time for a book haul. All of these books are ARCs, every single one of them. First one is The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. She is the author of The Secret, which became a documentary, a documentary that I have seen like three or four times. I am a huge advocate for the laws of attraction and thinking positive and the things that it can do for your life. Um, I have not read the second book, The Power, though I do have it, and I have not read this one yet, of course. Um, but I'm really excited about reading it and maybe getting some more tips on how to stay positive and, and make changes in my life. And if you are looking for change in your life, I highly recommend that you either read the first book, The Secret, or watch the documentary. Keep an open mind because really, what harm can come from being positive? Next is Grave Mercy by... Robin LaFurs or something. Um, this, believe it or not, is a young adult novel. It doesn't really look like a young adult novel, but it is. It's about a girl who goes to live at a convent, and I think there she discovers that she is somehow blessed by the god of death, which gives her certain powers, and they want to train her to become an assassin. The synopsis implies that there might be some struggle whether she wants to embrace that or not. Personally, I'm hoping that she does because an assassin would be really awesome. It's a rather thick book, which kind of turns me off a bit, but the whole assassin thing makes me really want to read it. The next one is The Hero's Guide to Saving Your Kingdom by Christopher Healy. This one I'm actually very excited about. I usually don't read juvenile novels, but this one reminds me a lot of How to Train Your Dragon. And if you look at the artwork, it's just awesome. I really want to know who that girl is riding up top. She looks badass. Um, and it just looks like it's going to be a very funny and entertaining read. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. Then there is Arise by Tara Hudson. I just finished Hereafter not that long ago. I hopefully have the review up by now. I loved Hereafter. It was a huge surprise for me. Um, it was just, I just enjoyed it. It was an all-around great book. And I'm super excited to get this one and thrilled that it was sent to me. I cannot wait to read it. Next is Darkness Before Dawn by J.A. London. I don't really remember what this one's about. Um, it says, the passage meets the House of Night series in this gritty alternate reality where vampires make the rules and one girl dares to break them. Oh, right, I remember now. It's kind of like Daybreakers where the world is overrun by vampires and humans are like more like cattle. Um, if you haven't heard of The Passage, it's by Justin Cronin. I didn't read it, but I swear everybody at work did. It's another vampire series written by a father and his daughter. It's an adult book. It's not for young ones. Um, it's a rather thick book that I heard was amazing. But I'm, I'm very interested in this one, and you'll definitely be getting a review. Next is For Darkness Shows the Stars by Diana P Pet Pet Whatever. <laughs> you know who she is. Who doesn't? Um, I read, um, I tried reading Rampant, which I think is the first one. Yeah, Rampant's the first one. I was really excited when I got that book. I tried reading it, and I just couldn't finish it. It felt like the author didn't take her writing seriously, or did she didn't take her story seriously, or it felt like the character didn't take the story seriously. I don't know. It just really didn't work for me. So I never, I wasn't able to finish it. However, this one sounds amazing. I'm really excited about it. And I have very high expectations for it. And I am also very honored that I was sent a copy. And finally is Mask of Red Death by Bethany Griffin. I love the artwork on this one. I think it's very unique. I think this one could be really interesting and definitely a different type of book for me. I am a fan of Edgar Allan Poe. So hopefully I enjoyed this one. Here are some videos that you should totally check out. Don't forget to support my Kickstarter campaign. Here is the amount that I am currently at. My goal is 5,000. If I do not reach 5,000, I do not get any money at all. No funding whatsoever to finish my book Exalta. So if you want to be reading Exalta, then you need to go to that campaign and support me by pledging. I love you guys. As always, happy reading.